Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kyle, and I have no idea why I'm playing this, but I thought it'd be really funny to do a video on it, because it's kind of cool, I guess. Game Dev Tycoon. Um, alright, so welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company. Right at the beginning of the PC revolution in the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Well, I think I'll, I think I'll give us L-O-K-K, -K and I'll just put my name. Always gotta, always gotta represent my username and stuff. Yep, I'm female, of course. Um, definitely. That that is so me right there. It looks nothing like me. Um, let's see. Yep, I've always been one for the sweater thing. I figure. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to access the main menu. Congratulations! Congratulations! You just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage. Oh wow, that's wonderful. And you are the only employee. But don't worry, many many successful businesses have started out this way. Yeah, they do. But let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay then. Yeah, you got an achievement. Supporter, supporter, young startup. Buy the game. Cool, I bought the game, so I get an achievement. I'm special. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what do I do? Okay, so, I click on it, click develop new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Okay, your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll, you will be able to unlock new options. Okay, okay. Um, what should the name of this game be? Well, actually, first I want to pick a topic. Um, let's see. Back then, dungeon games were pretty cool. I guess it was it'd probably be like an adventure game. Alright, so I have $70,000, yeah, I probably want to do it on the PC. Um, I'll call it Dark Abyss. Nah, how about Rainbow Land? For reasons. Ooh, what kind of graphics do I want? Text-based or 2D? 2D graphics, I'm gonna have to use 2D. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a lot of money. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and increase the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the home menu. Alright, so... Let's focus on gameplay. Definitely. I want to decrease the story quests. The engine's okay where it is. So mostly gameplay will be the most important. Holy shit, $8,000 a month? This guy must be living it up in a garage. While developing your games, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Okay. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Okay then, um... Apparently, Dark, the vampire game, did not do any of this. Alright, so, level design, I definitely want to increase. Dialogues, not as much. I don't, I don't think I need to focus on dialogues as much. Artificial intelligence, a little. 
you, know, you want like some of the things like the little monsters or something to have like a thought process enough to where they don't just start walking through the walls. <laughs> That'd be funny to watch actually. I would play this game. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but it also increases its cost. Okay. You will also see the graphics type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics for the game. Okay, let's focus on world design. Let's have a little bit better um, let's have graphics. Sound, not so much. 2D graphics, basic sounds. Oh, oops. I kind of need those. Alright. Damn, man. It takes a lot of money to make a game. Especially when you're one guy in a freaking garage. <laughs> the development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay, so I'll just wait for the bugs to be fixed. Yay, nice job, man. You did it. Oh, wait. Oh, I can make this game better just by waiting. Or no. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay. Cool, I got a lot of experience. It's pretty good. Oh man, I didn't level up at all. What the hell, man? I, I worked hard on this game. This game was my baby. Sheesh, everyone's a critic. Let's do it. Release this game. The game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. But won't I have to pay to get it actually like, put on certain things? Oh, cool, reviews. How quickly is that? YouTube didn't exist back then. How'd they get any reviews? Cool, I got an okay rating. Aw, oh, fuck you. And. I heard my. Wait. Oh, is it like. Ow. Sure. Serious, man? Why? Why'd you do that? That hurts my feelings. Oh, man. Assholes. Now I don't want to make games anymore. See what you do. Report. The game reports are a, way, are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights in the work works and what doesn't work in developing a game. <coughs> okay, to generate a game report, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Curious to see what we'll deliver in the future. Whoa, that's a lot of units. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. Cool, I'll receive income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Ah, oh, that's pretty decent. Alright, now time to start working on it. Oh, wait, oh, I'm researching something apparently. We got the following results. Dungeon Adventure is an okay combination. Dialogue seems to be very important for this type of game. How could dialogue be an important thing for this type of game? Nobody plays an adventure game, I mean, a game like that for dialogue. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring it back to menu. No. Make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engines. This will greatly improve your games. Try to develop games with different topics and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Okay. I want. I'm gonna make a custom game engine. Oh, I see. That makes me sad. I need to make research points, man. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Alright, it's good. I'm making some money with that. Alright, let's develop my second game. Let's try. 
try this time we'll have it so let's try it rainbow land the quest for more di dialogue ah you can't put it the quest for more d <laughs> Oops, cap lock. The quest for more D. Wait. took like, I don't know, a week. Recent markets, market studies suggest that the goal of more 64 is steadily outside the competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Alright, so my next thing will be made for this. My next game will be made for that console. Just because a lot easier. Alright, hit the finish button. Okay, that's good. Let's release it into the world. <laughs> for Rainbow Man 3, the quest for more D. Come on, somebody put like a 4. Don't. Screw you, Game Inform, or I don't know what you are. Come on, four. No. Stop. Why are you saying these bad things about my game? It's the quest for more D, man. How much worse could it be? Alright, guys, I'm going to end the video here today. Um, Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. I will read all the comments, so feel free to leave suggestions such as I don't know, Five Nights at Freddy's, stuff like that. Cool stuff that you want to see us play. Uh, check out the link below so you can, check out the links below so you, you can um, see our other channels and see what else we're working on with our other channels. Yeah.